I think the critical needs is water, one, and we are actually addressing that. We're already putting up some water bladders. We are working with the local, at least for this municipality, we're already working with the water district for the repair of uh, the damaged water system. The, our, our public health engineers have also gone around and they saw some uh, springs and some water sources which could be tapped and, and sort of uh, improved to provide some sort of a level to water system. We're providing some water kits so that, you know, at the household level, water treatment would, would really happen. Uh, in terms of sanitation, we'll definitely be uh, building some temporary latrines, particularly in the evacuation centers and, and, and then some bathing cubicles for women. Definitely those things will be supported by hygiene promotion so that people would understand that it's really, they have to, to be healthy so that they, they, they won't get sick. I think the challenge is the longer term. The banana plantations have been completely destroyed. Uh, the coconut plantations, the trees have all fallen down, and it will take several years for that to recover. So they worry about how to, they might be able to survive in this first month, but what will happen after this month and in the next coming year? This problem will not go away in one or two years' time. This problem will not go away with uh, Oxfam providing water, sanitation, and even sash grants. Uh, there's a bigger issue that has to be addressed. So you're looking at a massive livelihood food security situation here that will last and, and cannot be addressed uh, quickly and would need more resources.